Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Isha Gao from Nan University. Today, I'm honored to present our work, When Cloud Storage Means RMA. This contribution comes from Alibaba and Nan University. In recent years, cloud applications have infiltrated into people's daily life. Numerous companies, including Alibaba, have moved their core business systems onto clouds. Cloud storage has become a fundamental part of IT infrastructure. In 2009, Alibaba introduced a distributed storage system, namely Pangu. As of 2020, Pangu has been deployed in hundreds of clusters and supports real-time access to exabyte-level data in numerous production environments. Cloud storage system must meet the following requirements. Firstly, high performance. Customers expect similar access latency and IOPS compared to the local physical storage. Secondly, high availability. System disruptions incur significant financial and reputation loss for both tenants and their cloud providers. So, the availability of systems should not decrease when introducing RMA. And finally, satisfactory service level agreement. Software and hardware failures are extremely common in distributed systems. A cloud storage should exhibit a graceful performance downgrade with the occurrence of wireless failures. The first part shows the key design of our system performance in RMA enabled Pangu. In old days, distributed storage systems were built in kernel IO with low IO devices and network. The latency is at tens of milliseconds. However, things have changed as the hardware evolves. The access latency of NVMe SSD is only tens of microseconds. Kernel bypass RMA has also reduced network latency into several microseconds. To exploit the performance of new storage hardware and provide max performance with RMA, we developed the User Space Storage Operating System, USSOS. USSOS is a unified user space storage software platform that provides functionality in user space, such as memory management, shared memory mechanism, and user space drivers. As a central part of USSOS, the user space storage file system, USSFS, is a high-performance local file system designed for SSDs. Running the user space, USSFS is able to bypass the kernel to avoid user kernel space crossing overhead. Network and storage protocol stacks are running on the same thread to avoid redundancy due to thread switching. Enabling USSOS in Pangu can improve CPU efficiency by more than five times on average, and the access latency of storage is minimized with such software stack and thread model. To improve the throughput of a single storage node, we further deploy Pangu in 100 Gbps network. The first thing is to determine the new performance bottleneck. The table shows the hardware resource utilization and we can see that the memory bandwidth has become the bottleneck. The main cause of memory consumption is data copying when adding CRC checksum into data. When writing into storage media, the data is aligned into 4 kilobytes for inverting CRC as checksum and gap. Here, CRC checksum is used to detect and recover silent data corruption during the long-term storage. The job of data copy and CRC calculation is highly computing and memory I/O intensive. The user mode memory registration feature of RNX can be used to avoid the data copy. We leverage UMR to remap the continuous data into the format of an IO buffer at the receiver. After remapping, the field IO buffer can be directly applied for disk writing. The CRC calculation is also able to be offloaded to RNX to decrease CPU and memory usage. After enabled UMR and CRC offloading, the memory bandwidth usage is reduced by more than 30% and the throughput of a single thread is highly improved. Another problem in 100 Gbps network is QP number explosion as the number of threads in daemons grows. As a simplified model, we only consider two kinds of daemons on the storage node, block server and trunk server. Block server has 8 IO threads while trunk server has 14. In the full mesh connection mode, each thread in block server connects with all threads of all trunk servers. Thus, in a cluster of 100 storage nodes, there are more than 22,000 QPs in each node. When accessing the large number of QP contexts on the RNIC, catch means happen so the system performance drops. In Pangu, we adopt the share link mechanism to reduce the number of QPs. Our correspondence thread in the destination node is aligned to each thread in the source node. A thread request to the node are forwarded to its correspondence thread. The correspondence thread subsequently dispatches the request to the correct target thread. The thread in a node can be divided into several groups. Our correspondence thread only relay requests for its group members. In the example, we only use one shared group, and the number of qubits on each node is decreased to 1.5 kilos. Lock-free queues are used in each request and response queue to avoid contentions. 
According to our test, this design only adds approximately 0.3 microseconds latency. The second part talks about how Pangu achieves high availability, including decreasing PFC risks and escaping from PFC storms. In the hybrid deployment of RDMA and TCP, we found that the hybrid traffic may threat system availability, even though the two kinds of traffic are isolated in two priority queues on RNX. The coexistence of them still provokes a large number of PSC frames. The root cause is that the kernel TCP initiates too many partial ISO-NIX PCIe bus. As the PCIe bandwidth is consumed, the receiving pipeline of the RNIC is slowed down. The buffer overflows as the NIC begins to transmit PFC frames. The key to solve the problem is optimizing the memory access of kernel TCP, deserving the large receive offset, enabling NUMA and making application data cache line aligned are both friendly to TCP memory accessing and improve the process efficiency of kernel TCP. Besides, we also allocate a large buffer on the RNIC for RDMA traffic. By using these optimizations, the number of PFC frames can be reduced to nearly zero. The figure shows the topology of Pangu's deployment. To ensure high availability, we use dual port RNIC to connect the host with two distinct TOR switches. Network connections are distributed upon two ports, and they can be migrated to the other port once one port is down. We enable anime only within each port set. A port set is a collection of nodes connected to a specific group of leaf switches. This deployment choice minimizes the potential failure domain of PFC storms. However, PFC storm is still the biggest threat to the availability of RDMA systems. Previous work discussed PFC storm originates from RNIX. A bug in the RNIX slows down its receiving pipeline and results in package queuing. As this buffer is full, the NIC sends PFC frames to the TOR switch. The TOR switch also starts to transmit the PFC frames to nearby nodes when its buffer becomes full. In the worst case, the PFC storm can spread to the whole cluster. Previous solutions use watchdogs on switches and NICs to monitor PFC frames and prevent it from spreading. PFC supported switches provide the feature of automatically disabling the lossless mode when switches receive continuous PFC frames. In addition, watchdog on RNICs shut down the port if it sends out a large number of PFC frames. Thus, PFC zone can be controlled on the source host via the two kinds of watchdogs. However, we encounter a different type of PFC SOM when operating RDMA in Pangu. In the new PFC SOM case, the root cause is a bug in the switch hardware. The bug reduces the switch rate of the lossless queues to a very low rate. Due to the low transmitting rate, the switch buffer becomes full. Then the switch transmits PFC frames to the connected port and the SOM spreads. This new type of PFC SOM invalidates the solution of isolating the PFC sources because the spreading to the host inside the same top cannot be stopped. We provide a common solution for PFC SOMs, switch the RMA links affected by PFC SOM into TCP links. We adopt a method similar to PMesh to detect the RMA links affected in PFC SOMs. If the RMA pin falls and the TCP pin succeeds, the traffic on this RMA link is switched to the TCP link. Once the RMA pin succeeds again, the traffic on the TCP link is switched back to the RMA link. In our test, bad RMA links can be detected in approximately 10 seconds in a port set of 100 soldiers, and the system throughput can recover to more than 90% in less than 1 minute. This part is about how Pangu improves its service level agreement in RMA network. To improve SLA, we must improve the system performance under failures. The network failures are hard to locate and fix in a short time, and they are not also explicit in some cases. Pangu combines many system designs in storage and network to improve system performance with failures, including a solid network monitoring system, fast connection timeout, and solid level blacklist. Finally, we share some experience in our RDMA deployment. For example, monitoring AACK and building system level benchmarks are very useful in building large RDMA systems. On the other hand, congestion control in a symmetric topology and slow RDMA read are interesting problems we met in practice. More discussions on these topics can be found in our paper. As a distributed storage system, Pangu has served in Alibaba for over a decade. By building unified storage and network protocol stacks in user space, Pangu obtained high performance. We successfully solved several new problems in 100 GPS network, such as the memory bandwidth bottleneck and the QB number explosion. For availability, we provide a common solution to different types of PFC storms, which allows for the safe deployment of RDMA. 
Besides, we also improve the system performance of Pangu in fewer cases by some system and network code designs. Finally, we also share some other experience and problems during the deployment of anime in Pangu. That's all. Thank you for listening.